hello everyone so now we are going to do one more lap in this one we are configuring the trunk okay so let me take the two switch i am using the eveng and you can see i am using the switch quantity 2 and we can change this icon if you need support for this installation our team is there they will charge you and they will do your setup you can whatsapp us our team will take care okay they will charge you some amount and they will fix the issue whatever issue you are facing so anyhow let's see here what we can say i will connect the cable from switch 1 to switch 2 I am connecting one more that is from port E0 by 1 to E0 by 1. We connected to link between the switch 1 and switch 2. And what we can do here if you want we can take some devices also. Let me take here. We can take let's uh, we can take window PC. Okay. I will take this window PC. I will give here PC 1. Let me take two. This is a two PC. I will take this one. We can say it will be connecting in the VLAN 10 and this will be connecting to the VLAN 20. Same thing we can do here also. We can do other way also. What I will do. I will take two more. Let me take two more also. What I will do here if you see window. How many I need? I need two and give the PC name. I can give PC name like uh, PC3. We will give three and four we need to take. So let's see here. It is coming some different name. We will correct that one. So I am connecting here. If you see, I connected this way. We can move this here and we can take this way. And here you can click and edit whatever name you want to give you can give here example I will give here one PC one this one I will give PC two okay PC two I am giving here and then this one I will give PC three and then the another one I will give as a PC four that is up to you whatever you want to give PC four these PCs are ready now we will power on the devices then I will take the CLI of the device. If you see here, I will take this device also, CLI of this device also. Now we have the two device here, switch one, and this is a switch two. So let's start the configuration. First, I will change the name of the device. So I will go in the global configuration mode. I will change the name of this switch. I will give as a SW1. Same thing here I will do. I will change the name of the switch. I will go in the global configuration mode. I will write here SW2. Okay. Then after that, I will take this interface E0 by 0, 0 by 1. I need to make this as a trunk. So I will use the command interface range E0 by 0 dash 1. I selected multiple interface and then I will write switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1Q. Then switch port mode trunk. Okay, I configured this interface as a trunk. If you want to check, you can write show interface trunk. You can see here what I wrote here. We will do the same thing in another switch also. I will write interface range E0 by 0 dash 1 and I will write here switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1Q switch port mode trunk. Okay, this way we configure the trunk between these two switch. And you can write show interface trunk you can see here these two interface is in, in trunk e0 by 0 e0 by 1 these two interface we configure as a trunk and you can see here we are using the encapsulation 802.1q want to create the vlan how we can create we will go in the global configuration mode we will write vlan 10 and i can give name as a it this way we can create the vlan if you want to create one more VLAN, we can write VLAN 20 and name I can give any name. Example, I will give sale. Same thing here. If you want to create any VLAN, what we will do here? I will go in the global configuration mode and I will write here VLAN 10. Name I will give IT and then VLAN 20 name we will give whatever we give there sales. Okay, this way we can create the VLAN. 
if you want to check you can write show vlan brief with this one you can check we have vlan 10 and vlan sale and we did not assign any port here okay this is basic lab just to show you how we can connect the topology and how we can create this one later we are going to check this pc also we are going to put this in vlan 10 and this in vlan 20 this in vlan 10 this is in vlan 20 and we are going to check communication is there or not between the same vlan between the different vlan we are going to test that later this is just to give you overview about the 